Andy here with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog. And it's funny, when I think of a modern indie rock band that's been around for some time and never really took a hiatus, I can't help but think that they formed uh, either when I was in high school in the mid to late 90s or in college in the mid 2000s. Enter Yo Latango, who formed in 1984. I mean, that's close to 40 years ago. That blows my mind. Members Ira Kaplan, Georgia Hubley, and James McNew are the band's current members, but regardless of who was in the band all the way back in the mid 80s, there are 16 previous studio albums per Wikipedia if you count 2020's We Have Amnesia Sometimes, which was technically more of an EP. On the folkier end of noisy rock, or even shoegaze or psychedelic, Yola Tango's sound has always been a bit elusive to describe, and it's morphed and remorphed and morphed again over the years, and each new album is quite different from the last. It would take a true diehard fan to do a proper review of This Stupid World, the band's technically 17th album. So yeah, 17 albums, a crap ton of singles, and a few band-related compilations. While I'm a fan, I haven't dug through it all, so note this review comes with that caveat. I mean, even Rolling Stone calls out Yola Tango's vast library. And I quote, even a diehard fan might struggle to pass a multiple choice exam where you have to match a list of the song titles with the album that they were on. But that sense of familiarity and constancy imbues every new release with the feeling of checking in with old friends, right? That kind of seems par for the course for any band that has a decades, plural, spanning career especially if you top over a dozen albums. Yola Tango is no stranger to crafting a moody track. I'll Be Around off of 2013's Fade and both Autumn Sweater and Stockholm Syndrome off of 1997's I Can Hear the Heart Beating as One stand out as my personal career favorites of the band, and while well, none of them seem to hit those heights right off the bat on This Stupid World, the album as a whole seems to kind of flow a little bit more cohesively and masterfully than the albums I've devoured in their entirety. Even Pitchfork hints at this, noting, once again I quote, Where other Yola Tanga albums have often felt discursive, this stupid world feels focused and lean, the work of a band that needs to tell you something now. Kind of a sense of urgency to it, which is something that Rolling Stone mentioned as well. Now, the album itself is ambient but heavy, shoegazy but psychedelic with drone, to one, once again quote Rolling Stone, violent and lovely. It's harsh while beautiful, noisy while feeling sparse and bare, urgent yet approached with all the time in the world. I mean, three out of the nine songs top seven minutes. Its contradictions are where it thrives, and it does so with such surprising effortlessness that it's precise. It takes your breath away. My top tracks include opener Sinatra Drive Breakdown, which is a name that they drew from the town that they were born from, Fallout, the track that follows it, and closing track Miles Away. Though really in truth, the album's cohesiveness stands among some all-time favorites of mine that also fit the bill. Immediately coming to mind is the impressions that I got when I first heard 23 by Blonde Redhead from 2007-2008, or even Hey What by Low from 2021, noting that the effortless flow from track to track is impeccable. Both those albums became year-end toppers, in my opinion. And once again, that arises here on This Stupid World, and my intuition tells me that this album will likely join those other two as all-time year-end favorites. Not just of this year, 2023, but of the bands that released them. Blonde Redhead's 23, my favorite album by them. 
Though, I will say, Melody of a Certain Damaged Lemons comes mighty close. And then you have Hey What by Low. That was my number one album of 2021. It's way too early. I mean, we're talking late February here to declare an album album of the year. But note that this will be a contender for me. A few interesting notes on this piece of wax. Well, two pieces of wax since it's a double LP. This is the black vinyl version. It comes with an untitled instrumental bonus track, which is the only track you'll find on side D. Also, side B ends in a locked groove, where the other sides curiously do not. I love this album. It is interesting. It's introspective. It's dominating. You listen to it and you go into a bit of a zone. That's something that I've loved about Yola Tango. They can take that folk sound and make it droney. There's a lot to unpack in this stupid world. There's a message there, but I'm not going to really talk about that. I want you to dig into it, listen to the album. In, in fact, give it several listens and then come back and listen one more time while reading the lyrics. Let me know what you think. I'm forming my own opinions on what that message is, but you'll have to let me know yours in the comments below. Where does this stupid world fall in your list of best albums by Yola Tango? Is it up there really high or is it just kind of somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.